Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon and good evening wherever you are in the world. I want to get straight into it. So, tomorrow is the anniversary of the Great American Eclipse. Today, the 20th of August 2018, NASA went down in the ocean next to the Kilauea volcano in Hawaii doing we don't know what, but could be something sinister and we're keeping our eyes on it. At the moment, it is 11 minutes past 9 in the evening over here. The other thing that occurred last year is Big Ben stopped at 12 o'clock. The time continues to tick, um, but the chimes have been stopped. So we can essentially say that's a symbolization of it being frozen, which may connect with the iPad Goat video. It'll be frozen until 2021, which is uh, interesting. Obviously, that's uh, leading into a different watch time, which I'm not going to address at this moment. Hawaii received statehood 59 years ago on August the 21st and obviously we're looking at something potentially happening with Hawaii and potentially the Kilauea volcano. Also very interesting that tomorrow the 21st of August we'll have Hurricane Lane kind of just outside of Hawaii later on through the 22nd and 23rd it will take a right turn directly through the Hawaiian Islands. At the same time we've got the two typhoons over here Solik and uh, I can't remember the name of this one. Um, but this one will be heading for Seoul, South Korea, and this one will be heading for Tokyo, Japan. So, three of those places we talked about before this this information was available, and now we're seeing this develop. It's interesting, so we're going to keep an eye on it, um, make sure that we're not caught unawares um, by anything that could possibly happen. So, that's the 21st of August. Um, there may be an eruption at Fisher number 8, um, from the Kilauea volcano, if the interpretation from the IPEC GOAT 2 video is correct, and if it relates to the Gregorian calendar, there's still the possibility that it's co uh, connected to the lunar calendar, which is the 31st of August, but we'll watch tomorrow to see if anything happens there. Um, again, it's kind of more significant tomorrow because we do have Hurricane Lane in the vicinity, which uh, may be a reason or used as a reason for why the volcano erupts again. Then we move on to the 23rd. According to the interpretation from the iPad Goat video, it looks like there may be some form of tsunami on that day. And obviously, if there is interaction between Hurricane Lane and the Kilauea volcano um, on the 23rd, which is when the hurricane will be passing through that part of the Hawaiian chain of islands, then it may be possible that a massive eruption, earthquake type scenario could happen. We could have a landslide from the Helena slump or from the uh, newly formed land which has been made out of the lava crashing into the ocean creating a tsunami which then affects the pacific uh, the islands in the pacific and the west coast so that's the 23rd then we go on to the 27th and that's a watch day that i have for london uh, particularly the possibly the london transport network uh, and another connection possibly with tfl which is the transport for london which again is the london transport network now that could be on the 17th of August 2018, considering we've already passed the 17th of August on the Gregorian calendar, I'm looking at it on the lunar calendar, which is the 17th lunar day in the 7th lunar month, the 27th of August. So I'll be looking out for that um, in connection with London. The other thing I'll be looking out for two days before is another connection with London. Now, I don't know if... So let me explain first. So... On this side here, when I was looking at it again, I noticed that the R, which is an R when it's this way around, which is an N when it's uh, in portrait, is actually a 15 when it's mirrored. So that could be saying 15 H, 8th letter of the alphabet, August. Again, the translation for TFL. And then 10,000 ID, and then the symbolization of death with the hangman. Um, the 15 of August has already passed of course so that only leaves the 15th of August on the lunar calendar which is 25th of August um, that does stand out to me a little bit because I have interpreted from the hangman the two X's and the tongue making a V being a number 25 um, and it could be that something happens in London on the 25th of August and something happens on the 27th of August Maybe the TFL connection is with the uh, 15th of August, or rather the 25th of August, 
um, on the Gregorian calendar, and maybe that has the connections to TFL, um, 10,000 ID dead. And then the other way around, 17 August 2018, could be where we see the flooding that I've talked about in terms of uh, the tsunami affecting London. So I'll be keeping an eye out for that. And then following on from that is the 31st. I haven't brought all these things up. Um, but following on from that is the 31st of August, which I believe um, may have connections with Israel and Iran. Um, again, it's the 21st uh, lunar day in the 7th lunar month. So the connection to 21, if nothing happens tomorrow uh, with Hawaii um, and Kilauea, then it may be that it's on the... the lunar calendar rather than the Gregorian calendar, which would be the 31st. Um, if that's the case, then it would have to be Hawaii and Israel on the same day because there'd be no offer translation for it. Um, following on from that would be the 23rd lunar day in September, which is the 2nd of September, which literally translates to the 2nd 9-11. Um, and that, I believe, is going to be where we see submarines, um, possibly the EMP attack on the East Coast. So there's a lot of things to watch out for, all starting um, tomorrow with uh, Kilauea and seeing if an eruption occurs at fish number 8. If it doesn't, I won't discount that translation. I'll just move it to the 31st, which is the last 21 in August on the lunar calendar. Um, so that's pretty much my translation for you guys. The 23rd, we'll see if there is a tsunami in the Pacific, if that affects the islands in the Pacific and the West Coast. The 27th, we'll see if there's any connection. Sorry, 25th, we'll see if there's any connections with the London Transport Network. On the 27th, we'll see if there's any uh, flooding or anything like that. But one more connection or one more thought to have in association in association with London and the 27th, and that possibly being connected with TFL rather than the uh, the 25th, which is the 15th during the day, could be that the 27th in the UK is a bank holiday. And it's also the Notting Hill Carnival. Um, I can't think of a busier time for uh, TFL for the transport network in London. Um, literally, people are pe people are still working. A lot of people are still working, and they'll finish at five o'clock normal times. Rush hour will still ensue at that time for people who are working. But at the same time, you've got all these people who are not working because it's a bank holiday. Plus, you've got the carnival. And people will be attending that by train um, because we've got congestion charging. I'm not sure if that's taken off on bank holiday. I'm not sure. I don't drive myself. But looks like there may be some connection with a large event and the transport network with a large number of people. And if that's the case, then the translation from here could be 10,000 people affected by whatever it is through the Transport for London Network on the 27th, where we have the Notting Hill Carnival, which is like one of the biggest, uh, if not the biggest UK celebration that we have um, each year. So you guys, just give me the information. We'll see what happens. Have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and may the Heavenly Father bless you.